morning physical science students, I wanted to get you some information about the electromagnetic spectrum one pager assignment. Um, this assignment is going to be due on Tuesday, April 28th at 4 p.m. So that means that you have class time for uh, science on Monday and Tuesday to work on this assignment. So just to give you an idea, this is assignment is like a graphic representation of what you've been learning. So here are some examples of what I mean by that. So you can see here that they include um, pictures, they include titles, information about the topic. So this one is about atoms, elements, and compounds on the left. And on the right, this one here is about tectonic plates. So I just wanted to give you a couple of visuals um, about what your work should look like. So let's talk about what your work needs to include in order to get a good grade on this assignment. So the first thing, of course, is just a title. So you can see in the examples, they have titles um, in different places. Doesn't matter where you put the title, but it needs to include a title. The second thing is you need to draw a symbolic border going around your one pager that relates to the electromagnetic spectrum. So if you take a look here, both of these have, um, they have borders going around them. Uh, the first one relates to atoms, elements, and compounds because it has examples from the periodic table. It uh, has examples of elements and compounds and then over here on the right uh, this one also has a symbolic border with the arrows in the different colors and um, the jaggedy lines because that has to do with tectonic plates so you want to think of a symbolic border um, that would make sense for the electromagnetic spectrum the next thing is you need to draw the electromagnetic spectrum and it needs to include wavelength and radiant energy. If you don't have um, this already in your notes, you can Google this or go back to a lesson um, to see how to draw this. The next thing is you want to include five vocabulary words and definitions that relate to the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, you can use your notes for this. Uh, for example, we've taken a lot of vocab words from Quizlets, you can use that to help you. The second, or I'm sorry, the next thing is include two personal connections to the electromagnetic spectrum. So what I mean by that is how does the electromagnetic spectrum um, impact your everyday life or how are you impacted by the electromagnetic spectrum? Then you want two pictures to represent the electromagnetic spectrum. If you take a look at the examples, um, they have pictures of the different types of, oops, uh, pictures of the different types of boundaries. Those would be examples. Uh, they have a picture of an atom over here. That would be an example. So uh, different things that you can put in for the electromagnetic spectrum, but just two pictures that represent the electromagnetic spectrum. Then the next thing is a summary of the electromagnetic spectrum. So this is a paragraph that you want to plan out before you put on it, but you want to talk about some main points such as what is the electromagnetic spectrum? What are the different types of um, energy on the electromagnetic spectrum? What is the frequency and wavelength? And then also uh, describe the importance of the electromagnetic spectrum. And lastly, the one pager needs to be colorful, neat, and effort needs to be apparent. So what I mean by that is I need to see that you've really put some thought and some work into it to make it so that it's a good graphic representation of the information we've been learning about. I will be holding a help session if you have questions um, tomorrow during our regular Class Connect session times. So if you have questions, please come to that. Otherwise, you can always feel free to send me an email as well. Um, I hope this information was helpful, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye, everyone.